everyone. My name is Diana Stanley and I'm the CEO at The Lord's Place and I would like to welcome you to Sleep Out 2022. We are so excited that you have decided to join us this evening. We're about ready to share with you some amazing stories of how our clients have broken the cycle of homelessness. I hope you'll be inspired by their stories and I hope that you will have the opportunity this evening as you sleep in for Sleep Out that you will be reminded that only together as a community can we help those that are experiencing homelessness. So sit back, enjoy, and once again, welcome to Sleep Out 2022. Hey, how you doing? My name is William. I'm here at the Man Campus to tell you about the Sleep Out. It's a beautiful thing. It's a community where everybody come together and not only spread and talking about, you know, inspiring stories, but for us just to come together and be united on a united front. Sleep Out is an activity that will allow me to interact with other persons who are volunteers of the Lord's Place. So I hope to be part of that um, in a great big space in my PJs and t-shirt and just enjoy myself and I think it's going to be great. My name is Vladi Ilyev and I love to sleep out so much because everyone gathers in one place and you get to hear people's success stories from the podium and that's very impactful to my life. And we are strong and we are loved and we are all family. What I like about sleep out is that I feel that it's an experience that I've already had many times to sleep out one day in honor of me not having to ever sleep outside again is not a hard decision for me to make. I think it's a learning experience because it'll remind me of where I was, where I don't want to be. Where we go into the sleep house every year, they, the people who donated to this great organization get a feeling of What's it feel like to be homeless? I was, I was homeless for the first time when I was around 40 years old. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stretch. It's a big issue and a stretch. Hello, my name is John Gilmore, and I'm the campus supervisor here at William H. Main Campus. What I like about Sleep Out? Well, at Sleep Out, it gives us an opportunity as employees to form teams for a good cause to raise money for a very important um, cause. And we also like to have the support of our donors and show our appreciation for what they do for us here at the Lord's Place. Well, I enjoy the sleep out, getting to see different people from everywhere, um, the food and the activities for kids, and, you know, knowing that it's activities for them to do as well as parents. I'm excited about sleep out because it's an entire TLP family event for everyone and everyone gets to intermingle with one another and everyone gets to share their stories with one another and it's just such a great time for all the families. What I would want to say to the donors is how truly grateful I am for this place and if it wasn't that they would donate there wouldn't be this place. So it all comes down to the donors you know and their commitment to this program to the Lord's Place. And thank you to all of the donors who have made tonight possible and have helped us throughout the year as we continue to provide programs and services to the Lord's Place. But tonight we have to honor a very special donor, a woman who has changed the way we look at Sleep Out because of her generosity year after year. She continues to match any gift that comes in that can help provide the programs and services to those individuals that we serve. So we would like to share with you a very special message from our dear friend, the Honorable Ann Brown. Hey, Sandy. How are you, young lady? I think I have met you. I know, you always think of that. Yeah. You look familiar. You're not a face that's easy to forget. I'm so happy to be at the Lord's Place. I really love this place. And to meet you wonderful men, you have such good stories. My late husband and I were at a Lord's Place event watching it going on, and we had given a little bit of money, and he leans over. He says, 
let's do a match. I said, are you kidding? You want to match the whole thing? You want, he said, let's do a match. And I went up there, I said, we want to do a match. And everybody stood up and cheered. And I cheered that we could do it. And this place counts to me. They make use of every dollar. And I've done it every year. And I get so much satisfaction and so much love. I think it's one of the best things I've ever done. And now I get to introduce you to the honorary family of Sleep Out 2022, the Alok family. For years, they have supported the programs and services of the Lord's Place, and we are so grateful for all that they do for us. So please join me in welcoming the Alok family, our honorary family for Sleep Out 2022. Welcome to Sleep Out! We support Lord's Place in different ways and in different programs and different events. It's very important for the family to be part of the uh, volunteer activities. It tells them how to be a part of the community and how to work as a group, as a team. I conducted a uh, clothing drive as a service fire for the Lord's Place in order to help the homeless, in which I have collected about two, over 200 clothes uh, in Palm Beach County itself. why I chose the Lord's Place is because since I was 11 years old, I have helped and participated with the Lord's Place in which I've seen that the Lord's Place is truly committed to uh, helping uh, people who are in need and they are very proactive. Thank you to the Alok family once again for being our honorary family this year. And now we get to share with you our client story for Sleep Out 2022. This story is about a man that came into our world many, many years ago and just touched my heart so deeply. I think you too will be inspired by his story. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> I'm not really sure when it went from just being a party guy to being addicted, but once it gets to that point, yeah, it's, that's why I left Ohio. Took a Greyhound heading towards Fort Lauderdale, but by the time I got to the station in, in West Palm Beach, I told the driver, take my luggage off, I'm, I've had enough. And, and I hailed a cab, and the cab driver asked me where I wanted to go, and and I told him, take me to the bad neighborhood. And I ended up uh, setting up camp down in the bad area of town, and, and, I, and I stayed there for quite a while. And I'd, I'd be in a cheap hotel, cheap motel, for a couple days at a time. On an occasional night, when we didn't have the money, I'd end up sleeping wherever, you know. We had spots picked out. It's kind of scary out there, real scary out there. I fell ill with, with this spinal disease and I, you know, needed to be off the streets. I couldn't survive out there like that. Lord's Place staff uh, helped me get back on my feet because they, they, they gave me responsibility and accountability. They, they put trust and faith in, in me, like right away. And I thought, are you kidding? You know where I just came from? And you want me to, <laughs> to help other people? You know, I, can't, I can barely help myself. Once I got here, that all changed. So welcome home. Thank you. Here guys. we go. Here we are. I mean, this is amazing. 12 years later? 12 years later, How yeah. does it feel to come back here and see this? In some ways, it feels like I never left, right. you know? And so I had the privilege of meeting Scott 12 years ago when he came to the Lord's Place. I myself was new, and I was just becoming more familiar with our, our residents. And um, the minute I met him, I felt that there was something different in his spirit. 
right? I think that it was um, telling me that it was time for transformation for him. He was ready to make this change. And it was also his kindness. There was a kindness about him that was just so revealing and so endearing. I graduated from, from Palm Beach State in uh, May of, of 2009 with a business management degree. And I'd have to say it was one of the proudest days of my life, absolutely. There's no way that I would have ever even thought about going back to college if I hadn't, if the Lord's Place has, hadn't given me that opportunity. Wow, look at this. Oh my, what a great job you did. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's mind boggling what it looks like now. So happy for you guys. It's beautiful. Well, it's because of people like you that left our program in 2010 and because of your success, People believe in the program, and when they believe in the program, they tend to donate to the program. So um, it's because of what you did and your hard work. So as you still continue to go on and continue to do successful things, then people see you because you're a beacon, you're a, a bright light, and they continue to add to the cause. I appreciate that. If it, wouldn't, if, if it was, weren't for the Lord's place, who knows? Uh, but I know I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys right now or, or have the great life that I had right now. The turning point in my life is the day I set foot on his campus. So when I think of Scott and I think of his journey over the last 12 years, um, he is a gentle reminder that you never give up on anybody. Um, here's a man that entered our world that was broken, that didn't have any hopes, that still had dreams that he never thought he could fulfill. And uh, 12 years later, standing in front of me now is a man that's life's been transformed and his dreams have come true. And he's just an example of the work that we do. It's yeah. all good. It's all good. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You're, so, you're still so freaking cute. Welcome again to the 15th annual Sleep Out, the journey. As I was thinking about my remarks tonight, my dear friend Ted Deckard came to mind. For those who did not know Ted, he was one of the founders of Cafe Joshua and a Lord's Place board member for over 40 years. In November, Ted unexpectedly passed away. He is sorely missed and loved by all of us at the Lord's Place. And tonight, we really miss him as he had participated in Sleep Out since its inception. He was always here, either sleeping on the ground or sleeping in a chair, and he was the best ambassador, not only for sleep out, but for the work of the Lord's Place. Ted had a favorite saying, embrace the journey. I'm actually wearing the bracelet tonight as a reminder of Ted. And I thought, my goodness, what a perfect phrase as we celebrate 15 years of sleep out the journey of sleep out. You know, I can still remember the first night when a small group of us slept out at the Meyer Amphitheater. And little did we know that we would start a movement, a movement that brings us together tonight where hundreds of people are sleeping out, sleeping in throughout the county, nation, and even the world. And then there is the Lord's Place journey. We have seen so many changes over the last year. We said goodbye to our well-worn headquarters in West Palm Beach when we demolished it in September. In early 2023, we will open the doors to a new 25,000 square foot facility, which will be the beacon of hope for the homeless. It will be the new home for Cafe Joshua, the engagement center, job training and placement, housing and street engagement. And everyone here has had to adjust to their new life journey especially in the last few years as we dealt with COVID. Each of us has had to navigate our way through COVID, and yet here we are as a community, stronger than ever before and ready to embrace a new journey, hopefully forever without quarantine. And my own personal journey included being diagnosed with breast cancer in late spring. As I finish my treatment, I am reminded and grateful about the importance of having a safety net. I am blessed with a village that supports me. And this journey 
my own journey caused me to think about our clients who aren't as fortunate. Now let's talk about the journey of becoming homeless. You know, sometimes it is so misunderstood. My friends, you do not wake up one day and suddenly become homeless. The thought that somebody wants to be homeless to live on the street is just incorrect. Because you see, there are bumps in the journey of life, some so large that without a support system, it leads you closer to the path of homelessness. And those bumps could include mental illness, substance use disorder, unemployment, poverty, and health issues. The results of those struggles can cause someone to lose their home and eventually find themselves homeless. And the journey to end homelessness is not something that happens quickly. It's not something that happens with a click. It takes time, it takes patience. It's something we have to work toward along with our clients. And for many of our clients, they have been on the streets for years and others are experiencing homelessness for the first time. You see, no matter how long one has been homeless, our clients feel unworthy. They are full of shame and crippled with hopelessness. My prayer is that our clients would find a village here at the Lord's Place. A village that includes some of the most dedicated, compassionate people I have ever met. Our visionary board of directors who encourage us to dream. And of course, once again, a special thanks to our Ann Brown for always raising the bar. We have to pay tribute to our selfless volunteers who strengthen our programs and services because they generously share their time and talent. And of course, our village is made up of our staff. Our staff walk side by side with our clients, empowering them to put one foot in front of the other as they begin their journey out of homelessness. But as always, tonight is dedicated to our clients whose journey has not been as fortunate as yours or mine, but who still have the resilience and perseverance to begin a new journey. And their journey has turns and up bumps in the roads and ups and downs, but you know what? It is our job at the Lord's Place to show them that their final destination is a place of healing, restoration, and a light for a new beginning. Because we know that ending homelessness only happens when an individual or family is surrounded by a village that believes in them, supports them, loves them, and gives them the tools to start a new journey. The journey of the Lord's Place and our clients only happens because of all of you. You have shared your time, your treasures, and your talents with us, and we are forever grateful. Thank you so much for allowing us to create a village to those experiencing homelessness. And finally, we would like to dedicate Sleep Out 2022 in memory of our dear friend, Ted Deckert. May his spirit of caring for those in need be felt by all of us tonight. Now, my friends, let's embrace the journey by embracing the 15th annual Sleep Out. God bless you. I've been a nurse for 37 years. I backed out of it because of a traumatic event in my life. That's how I wound up at Halley Place. How should I say this? I was a hot mess when I got there. And it took me 10 months of what they offered me to return back to nursing. And I was able to graduate, to pay in my own rent now at Burke West. I'm still part of the Lord's Place and a big advocate of the Lord's Place. Now I'm strong enough to do anything I choose to do. And I keep venturing out on different venues to see where are my niches in life now that I'm all grown up. Well, Sleep Out is a great opportunity for people who are compassionate, generous, and have empathy. They shout out for the homeless. And they give the world our voice. We didn't choose to be out there. We didn't volunteer to be there. 
But these people do volunteer and give money. And they realize that we're not derelicts out here. We are good people. We just fell off track. So the Lord's Place accepts this funding because they help us. They reach their hand out to us at all times. And, you know, they make us show that even though we had so much anguish, so much confusion, disillusion, and frustration, and hopelessness, these people come out to us. And they, they give us hope. They try to give us goals. And if we work hard, they find us a place to move on to. And I'm a graduate of that. I would be dead right now if it wasn't for the Lord's place. And that's a hard thing to say. You lose everything and you didn't choose to lose it. But now I'm strong and, and I just want them to know that the Lord's place and sleep out are so important because the homeless does not have a voice. Thank you, Krista, for sharing your story with us. And now, my friends, we have a special message from the children at the Jack and Evelyn Alexander Place Family Campus. On any given night, we have the opportunity to take care of 37 families who were experiencing homelessness. Our children are one of our greatest blessings, and they have something they want to share with you. Enjoy. What does I want to go to sleep out? Because I can get to eat, I get to sleep, now I get to play with all my friends. It'll be a fun time. It's supposed to be like a waving art thing. Yes, knock knock. for um, for being patient and for giving people sh um, stuff and sharing. My name is Enviana and I'm thankful for my friends and family. My name is Janaya Janaya Peterson. I'm thankful for my family and my friends. What's your name? Michael Woodcock. What are you thankful for? My mom. My, my name is Damaria Starling, and I thank for, for doing painting. For me, working with the children, I feel very blessed and thankful to be working with all our wonderful children that we have, just doing all the magic that comes with it. And I thank for, for everybody. And in the tradition of Sleep Out, we are now going to ask our own Jan Phillips to lead us in our closing song, Go Light Your Candle. There is a candle in every soul, some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes it home. So carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the hopeless, confused and torn, and hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle and go light your world. Ooh, take your candle 
and go light your world. Frustrated brother, see how he's tried to light his own candle some other way. See now your sister. She's been robbed and lied to Still hold a candle without a flame So carry your candle Run to the darkness Seek out the lonely The tired and worn And hold out your candle for all to see it, take your candle and go light your world. Take your candle and go light your world. Because we are a family whose hearts are blazing. So let's raise our candles and light up the sky, praying for an answer to help our homeless make us a beacon in the darkest time. So carry your candle Run to the darkness, seek out the helpless, deceived and poor, and hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle and go light your world. Take your candle and go light your world. Thank you, Jan, and our thanks to all of you for joining us this evening. And wherever you sleep tonight, we hope you sleep in solidarity to those men and women who are sleeping out on the streets tonight. We are grateful for your support and we hope to see you all at our Ending Homelessness Breakfast in November. God bless you. <laughs>